Hey y'all, Rick Rex here with another video. This time we're continuing our beginner to end game series. And before we get started, if you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel grow and also, you won't miss one single episode when it drops. Today, we're going to get our baby tune off the ship. We're going to explore combat mechanics, expand our loadout while leveling, and we get to rescue Zatanna and kick Felix Faust to the curb and kill some Brainiac invaders while we go. Now the start of our trip with Beginner to Endgame is about leveling our tune to level 30 and how to maximize that time. I'm going to move pretty slow to make sure that we're getting our feats, feats, and feats <laughs> while we're going through the leveling process. And if we take our time here, that's less that we have to do later to get our tune maximized. I really look forward to this journey with y'all, and it's going to be amazing working this tune from scratch to end game together. So let's quit dilly dallying and get this tune going. He's waited long enough. Fancy meeting you here. I'm Superman, and I'm going to get you off this ship. I think everyone knows who you are, Superman. And that's Oracle. She's going to help us navigate through Brainiac's defenses. Be on your toes for Brainiac's sentries. We're here to save you and the others Brainiac abducted. Speak with Superman when you're ready to move on. While we're here, we need to stop this ship from abducting anyone else and send Brainiac a message Earth isn't going to fall to Brainiac or anyone else. You still have your weapons. Use them to get rid of the debris blocking the door. All right, so breaking out of the ship, we're going to start out with only our weapons for use. We've attracted some attention. Sentries are headed your way. All units Which means we are going to be meleeing like crazy in this first part. Uh, bear in mind, though, there's nothing here that can really kill us, so it's not that big of a deal. And we're really just working on getting some power so we can actually use our loadout properly. There's a 25 hit feet. Gather reinforcements. I will patrol towards the prisoner bay. That's an overseer. They patrol parts of the ship and protect it from intruders. Like you. It won't let you pass. Brainiac overseer. Big, but not bad. So... Here we're just really getting used to using our weapon, and we just caught level 2, which will give us our first power. Now I'm breaking all of these barrels. Uh, note that I'm doing that on purpose. The reason behind that is, is the more barrels that I break now, the less I have to break later. So that's really about feats. And of course, Oracle will be there to help guide us through on every mission that we do, sometimes more often than not. But it'll either be her or one of the mentors. So in this first part, we are going to be using a mixture of our weapons and our powers. As you can tell, the power pool is not large when you first start out. So you are literally having to squeeze a mixture in between your weapons and your powers. More Brainiac sentries? Fun! So you'll kind of notice I'm using that power as more of a lunge than anything else. I really just to get close so I can do a little damage. Yay, another feat. And again, these are ads. They're really, really squishy. So we're just making our way down the hall to get off the ship. It doesn't take X-ray vision.
Let's break some barrels. We are the great barrel killers. Yeah, bad man sensitive. So again, we're going to be using a mixture of our tap triangle if you're on PlayStation or your range button and a lot of lunges just to get us to where we need to be a lot quicker so that's going to be your hold melee button for your weapon and then i'm using a combo of that and the power of course to get us to our destination a little quicker as you can tell we are in no danger of dying at all so this really is just about taking your time, learning the mechanics of the game, the combat system. Uh, it's a very fluid combat system that's not like any other game that's out there, which is super cool because it really keeps you in the action and you don't really have to look down to see what you're doing. And we're just about through getting done with this horde. That really is one of the nice parts of using the shield for your weapon. The lunge is pretty amazing with it, so it really gets you to where you're going pretty quick. Let's kill some barrels. Hey, we got a skill point. Great Barrel Killer has conquered. So we've got Crashing Wave and now Aquatic Arsenal. That is another melee ability. Really used up close, not something that I tend to use quite often. So we'll use it while we need it, but... Uh-oh. These energy readings. Brainiac has a full invasion force stored on this ship. We have to destroy it. The good guys always come out. By the way, this is one of the last times you'll actually see Superman helping you. Most of the time he just stands there and looks while you do all the dirty work. So be careful with your auto-targeting. It will rocket you to the other side of the room, like what just happened to me. So we just need to make sure that the targets are actually staying on the NPCs. Kill a barrel. Hey, hey, feet. And that is why we're breaking those barrels. Now bear in mind with your aquatic arsenal that one is a combo power, but if you're watching my power while I'm using that ability, it eats through my power bar in the beginning. And just like you saw there, you really need to be in range when you're using that crushing wave. Because it can miss if you're not in range. Barrel killer. The good guys always come out on top. And one reason why I don't favor the the ability very much, as you can see, it doesn't do a ton of damage even on these really weak NPCs. So that's kind of one reason why I point away from it in my melee loadouts. Another Overseer. And when he pushes you back like that, just simply hit your R1 button if you're on PlayStation or your block button. Just tap it and that'll pop you out. It's what's called a breakout. Let's kill some barrels.
All right, I think we got all of them. All right, so in here, you're going to see the NPCs that are fighting on the sides. We're just going to simply ignore them and take care of the objective that's right in front of us. So that way Brainiac can go on ahead and come on out and we can get off the ship. So again, that's just a ranged weapon tap or triangle on PlayStation. And here comes Big Boy. Okay, so the jailbird feat, uh, that one was for breaking out, which is kind of a big deal. All right, there's another breakout. Now he's going for a big attack, so I'm just going to block. Once that's done, I move on. And by the way, the block is holding the R1 button. But as you can tell, I mean, even if you don't do that, you're in no danger of dying. And down goes Brainiac. So let's kill some barrels. I am the source. Got them all. And let's talk to Soups. If you're interested in joining the fight for justice, the League would be happy to teach you. Phew. I'm impressed. You're definitely on your And there's the dance that we love. Get out of there and I'll contact you on the ground. We were overwhelmed by his attacks. But only the gods can make or destroy worlds. And Brainiac is no god. From a single man's courage, we have an army of heroes to stand against Brainiac. Together, we shall fight tyranny. From Brainiac, or any other false god. Wonder Woman, I know that we all have our destiny. And for these heroes, it is the call to greatness. That's one of the great things about DC. The cutscenes are amazing. So we'll enjoy those as we go through, and I won't skip any of them so you can see them. But we're headed off the ship and into the safe house. So let's check out what we got here. All right, so in the safe house, first thing we're going to do is go on ahead and equip the piece of gear that we got. Now, our ultimate destination right there off to the left is going to be Oracle Bot. But let's take a quick loop around and let's go on ahead and pick up some investigations, check our mail, grab the things that we need so that way we're not going to do all that at one time. So Oracle sent us a face mask, so we'll get that equipped. And let's go on ahead and do some investigations. So the investigations are going to be the green exclamation points. We want to collect all of those. This teleportation hub will allow quick transport between key locations like other safe houses in Gotham City and Metropolis. Everyone has different approaches to finding their own iconic looks. But remember, the only truly bad gear is broken gear. So if you ever see the broken shield notification on your minimap, get repairs from any vendor. I guess I'm joining Booster Gold in promoing soda colas. They're quick, cheap pick-me-ups that really come in handy during a fight. Keep a lot on hand. Find 
Finding investigations, briefs, and collections provides great insights, and completing them nets you some pretty good rewards. Information brokering isn't such a bum deal, right? Bounties offer great rewards, but be careful not to take them on by yourself. Teaming up is key when going after bigger targets. So we want to make sure that we grab each of these because they do provide us with rewards as we go. Plus, ultimately, there is a feat for collecting all of them in the beginning of the game. So we want to make sure that we've got all of them. Quick scan over because I've missed one. Also, they are going to give us some nice little story tidbits as we go, so that's pretty nice as well. Oh, there it is. Not saying you should never go on a Booster Gold tour, just that Booster cares more about hearing himself talk than providing useful info. All right, so we got our first feat there for uh, for completing the first investigation. And really, we're going to try to get as many of these as we go. So later on, we'll, we'll swing back and go on ahead and get the ones that we've missed. Now, I don't think we really need to add anything to our weapons because what we get in basic is going to be enough to get us through the first part of the game. So I'm just not going to spend any skill points there so I don't have to reset later. Let's go on ahead and talk to Oracle. Good to meet you in the flesh. Well, so to speak. Consider this league-friendly safe house a temporary place to repair your gear, check your mail, have a soda cola. Just don't wait too long before heading out the door. A lot of villains are taking advantage of the chaos Brainiac is causing to wreak their own havoc. And we need every cape we've got. Alright, so we picked up our first mission and it's time to head out of the safe house. So see the golden check? We're going to just follow that all the way through and out into Metropolis. All right, so what she's referring to there is your movement mode. Bear in mind, the joystick that you use to control your direction and move around, if you press that, that'll allow you to fly. Free from Brainiac is an impressive testament to your new magical powers. I'm asking you to use these now in the fight for freedom and truth. Felix Faust and his magents are stealing souls in Chinatown. Your aid could tip the balance. Now... Through a lot of the missions as we go, you're going to find that there's going to be little side quests that are there. Always pick those up, so just take a breeze around and check to see if you can find them before you proceed through. That's going to give you extra source marks, which are going to become important later. And also, make sure that you spend as little time as possible on the missions in the foreground by spending just a little bit more now. So off to the right, as you can see, it gives you the count for the missions that you're doing. So whatever you need to do, it's going to kind of show your progress on the right. So we have a few more thralls to kill. As you can tell again, beginning in the game, very little chance for you to die. All right, one more globe. And we're just killing the ads so that way they don't try to stop us whenever we collect the orb. All right, there we go. So we'll kill a few more of these. Obviously, they do give us experience, but most importantly, that little green exclamation point down at the end is our friend. And as I mentioned, we're going to try to get as many of these as we can, but... Sadly, there's not much left of this soul, but hope is never lost. 
if we miss a few of them, no big deal. Because we can always come back to get them later. So I'm going to scan the area right quick, make sure that I didn't miss any greens or any blues. Those will be briefings. And sometimes you'll even see gold ones, which are collections. So we're keeping our eyes peeled for those. But you see our wayfinder. That's really going to tell us where we need to go next. So you can't really get lost as you go through. That was an addition a couple of years ago, and man, it really made all of the difference. It really made this part a little bit easier than it used to be, because you could get lost. So there's a collection. Let's grab that. And we'll go on ahead and collect it. So those will take time to fill out. They're not something that you're going to be able to get and have all, all at once. It's just playing and, and hunting out those collections over the course of time, or you can use the broker to shorten the process. But no sense in doing that. Oh, there's a briefing. This is Vicki Vale. Today on JLA Watch, Zatanna, the Justice League's mistress of magic. A self-described spellaholic, Zatanna relies on spells, said backwards, to work her magic. For now, this show-stopping sorceress can be found with Dr. Fate, leading the Sentinels of Magic, a new task force of heroes dedicated to fighting magical crimes where... There's another investigation. Initiate field report. There is still hope for this soul. Fractures can be healed. And again, once we hit 30, we'll dedicate some time to come back to make sure that we get all of the investigations. But if I can clear an area out by checking them ahead of time, I'm always going to do that. It's really worth the extra couple of minutes that it takes to just fly by and really enjoy what the developers did so many years ago in building this world. Because it really does stand up even to today. So awesome job to them. All right, so let's take our mission. Okay, doesn't look like a side mission for this one. Let's just double check to make sure. Nope, I don't see one. And I'm really concentrating on looking in the orange area on the mini map. That's going to tell me if there is one over there. You'll see a yellow exclamation point on that. Okay, so we got the icon over that Magent's head. Now two of them. That's an interaction, so you're going to hold circle to interact with it on PlayStation. As Zatanna captive nearby, guarded by his enslaved soulless victims. Go, free Zatanna, and defeat his plan. So as you can see, it's going to give you some pointers as you go through. Pay attention to those because they, they will actually be useful tips. But you'll always see me opening my, my journal. That's to double check to make sure that I have the mission up and active. So that way the pointer will be on my mini map. And also that check mark will appear so I can follow it. Let's head into the magic shop. All right, in here, there is a side feat that you're going to see that 
Basically, we're going to look for all of the bookshelves that are burning or on fire, and we're going to put those out, like what we see here off to the right. So we're just going to interact with it, and it'll put it out. That's just uh, one of the extra feats that you're going to get by going through some of the lower stuff. So those are the things that we really like to pay attention to, so we don't have to come back and do that later. Alright, clearing out all of the trash. And there's going to be a lot of feats in the beginning of the game as we go through in the leveling process where we're going to get a ton of feats just by running the content and doing things like not using a cola or not dying, sometimes even doing it quickly. So let's grab that bookcase. A lot of that stuff will come naturally as you run the content, so you really don't have to go out of your way to do that. But on the side ones, like the bookcases, you really need to make sure you don't miss one. There's another one. Looks like another one in the distance there. And with that last level, we did open up one of our, another ability which is a healing ability. We're not going to use that a ton in DPS because, you know, we're not really concerned about our health at this point in the game. As we get our loadout together, our goal is going to be to burn through things before they can kill us, not necessarily to keep us alive for a long fight. Let's grab that bookcase. Alright, let's go rescue Zatanna. And I see that green exclamation point in the back, so there's an investigation here that I need to take care of. But we're going to take care of the ads first, that's kind of priority. Alright, we got some ads going after Zatanna, so let's kill those. Good thing you broke that spell of silence, since Zatanna has to speak backwards to cast her spells. And last jumping beam. Alright, and there's level 6, so let's grab these last bookcases. And there's a feat. And our goal as we go through, guys, is to try and keep our skill points level with our CR. That's really what we try to do. It's going to be tough in the next part after we get to level 30, but in this foreground, we need to catch as many as we can. So we're casting a really big net, but again, this is less time that we have to spend later by going back and doing irrelevant things when we can concentrate on it while we're here and get them taken care of. So just taking a second again to look for some investigations and briefings and collections while we're over here. Don't see any, so we're going to go on ahead and head on, following our check mark. And as you can tell, it's got those numbers right next to it. That's actually giving you a distance in meters of how close or how far you are from it. So kind of gives us a good idea of where we need to go and how quickly we need to get there. So I'm going to do a quick scan over again to look for those investigations, briefings, and collections. 
And also I'm going to be looking for collection nodes. And I'll show you those once we get to one. But a big part of picking those up is there is a large count that you have to do throughout the game. But as you pick them up, oh, there's an investigation. As you pick them up, though, you, you will actually get Nth Metal and Ally Favor. All right, so I didn't see a side mission, so we're going to go on ahead with it. We do see that count down on the right-hand side that we need to accomplish. Pretty easy. Destroying the wells is not enough. The Magents are draining captured souls into soul globes. Intercept them before they return to Faust. Alright, so that one is taken care of. So we're going to do a quick scan over, make sure we didn't miss anything. Don't think we did. Got the right mission on. And we're heading to the next one. So our first milestone that we're shooting for is level 9. That's when we're going to get our super speed ability, or super movement mode ability, which is going to allow us to fast travel, basically. Uh, so that's kind of important. But we do have a side mission, so let's grab that. Do you see her? Madame Dia perches atop the theater, greedily using her cursed amulet to entomb the incorporeal. Free her from that talisman. Use it to call back the souls of the dispossessed. And let's get that investigation before we go and forget about it. She doesn't want to stay put. Not good when you're fighting with a weapon. It's okay, we stunned her, and there's another investigation. Let's break out. And got her taken care of. So let's do a quick heal. And we completed that investigation. Awesome. Now, if you're kind of wondering why I'm going after the larger ones first, that is because they do the most damage and pose the most threat. Not that there really is one, but we want to kill the ones that are going to do the most damage first, especially when we're meleeing. So those ranged guys can really cause havoc with us. Now, as you can see, the interactions are all on timers, so we do want to make sure that we grab those before they expire, otherwise they do not count. All right, double check right quick. Faust is feeding off these souls, so the fewer he gets, the better. Faust has retreated to this theater to begin his foul ritual. Zatanna has him cornered inside, but he is protected by his magents and she is alone. Join the battle to fight at her side and end Faust's vile plot. So next up we have the Mannheim Chinese Theater. This one is a really quick one, so we keep that in mind later on when we're doing our solo farming. This one is really good because it's so fast. Now in this one, our side feet that we're really gonna wanna pick up is gonna be the soul globe. So that's the big glowing bluish purple things that are uh, there floating about. We just wanna destroy those and that'll pick us up another feet as well. Also, every time you see a repair bot, 
going ahead and repair your gear. Get in the habit of it early because you're going to need to do it later. It doesn't really affect us that much right now, but it's a great habit to build. So those are those soul orbs that I told you about. We're going to want to destroy all of those. Those quick and easy feats are always the best. And as you can tell, we did get a new power, which is awesome. I like this one because it does give us a stun and it's actually going to start to develop our loadout a little bit. So we can actually be useful with our powers. So as you can tell, I'm going to go on ahead and arrange my loadout a little bit so that way it's a little bit easier for me to go on ahead and get that uh, that water spouts out because I want that stun. And it also does decent damage, which is wonderful. And I'm really looking for that stun because that's the less time that they have to hit me. So that also keeps them situated in place. And since I'm meleeing, I don't really want them bouncing about. And we've run across a broken barrel. Again, smashing all of those barrels that we possibly can. And let's get our orb. Faust and Zatanna battled just past that mystical barrier. Defeat the magens casting the spell to break through. All right, so this little part's going to kind of be just waves of ads that'll come at you for a second. Nothing major at all. Just need to make sure in this tender part of the game that we are keeping our eye on our power because we use it so quickly. So nice mixture of weapons will solve that. So we just keep that in mind as we go. And let's get that orb. Hey, look, there's that feat, Soul Saber. All right, let's go get Faust. Release these innocent souls, Faust. You cannot stop me, Zatanna. My power is too great. Ah, yes, the power fuels me. Faust again is a pushover. He does have some adds, so just be aware of that. As you notice, your water spouts will pretty much take care of them for you. And there is a 50 time hit counter. All right, down goes Faust. So we get some loot. Thanks for your help. Nothing helps. So we'll just take the style, which is also important. I long ago sold my soul for occult knowledge. Now demons themselves dance at my command. But one bit of knowledge eludes me. The flame of life. That electric bolt that creates something from nothing. And this I will possess. I will possess the collective soul of mankind and turn the flesh of all living things to my will. 
I thank you. All right, got some nice feats. As I told you earlier, we're going to pick up quite a few of those just from running the content. Because a lot of them are not hard to get. So, as we go through, we just want to grab as many of those as we possibly can. So, doing things like not using a supercharge, not using a soda cola, things like that really matter. So that way we don't have to come back and redo this later. All right, and heading on back to the safe house. Again, taking our time to make sure that we're finding those collections, investigations, and briefings. There's a briefing. And there is a collection note. You know them by their rainbow flashy style and also the hum that they generate. That's how you're always going to find those. Those purple circles that you see, those are races. We're going to tackle those as we go as well because there are feats that are associated with those also. Plus the ones near the safe house are very, very easy. So we'll just go ahead and tackle those first. Trigon is rising right here in Metropolis. I'll get there when I can. Until then, think you can handle it? I call upon you as one who has been proven in battle. Dr. Fate's ward against Trigon has broken. Now Trigon's demons rampage throughout the Tomorrow District. The science police's powers are not enough. Defend against this evil and hurry. So remember every time, open up your journal and make sure that that mission is completed so that way you can move on. Now we've hit level 9, so let's grab our supersonic ability. And I'm also going to select downdraft to help round out my loadout for the meantime. Alright, so we did pick up Shark Frenzy as well. So as you can see, I'm going to move those about a little bit. And I'm also going to want to go on ahead and pick up Robot Sidekick as soon as I can, but I can't just yet. Back out into the world of Metropolis. But since we have our Super Sonic, I'll go on ahead and knock out these races right quick that are right here. Very, very easy. I'm not a master of racing, but again, these are easy, so. All right, we'll pick up our feet, take that. And I'm going to just hit retry because that's going to bring me back to where I was. So I can go on ahead and grab the next one. Impressive. Five. This one is a little more challenging, but Two. still very easy. So the trick to doing these races and getting the Platinum is really just going fast when you can and when there's turns, slow down and take the turns. As you can also see, we did pick up experience as well. That's going to help kind of keep us above the curve so we don't struggle whenever we're going about 
taking care of bosses and things of that nature. It actually kind of keeps us a little bit ahead, which makes it just genuinely a little bit easier. Now what I'm doing right quick, I am checking out the side missions that are available. Brainiac is attacking. He's targeting sites to bottle and bombarding us with troops. We Hello need your help and welcome to the work. Booster Gold Exploration. This is Oracle. You took out a Brainiac ship, so taking out his forces on the ground should be a cakewalk. He's staging his front line nearby. Head over there and kick some so I picked up two things for us to do to go on ahead and round out our gear and also to grab a little bit of extra XP as we go. First is the Brainiac mission, so we'll, uh, we'll kill some drones there. And I did also pick up that Booster Gold Exploration mission. There are going to be a bunch of those as we go. They're quick and easy and don't take very long at all, so may as well just knock them out. And there is a nice, once again, feat for completing all of those. Plus, they'll also help you get your exploration feats as well. And remember, guys, kind of important as we're going through and doing this, the, the reason that I'm spending so much time on these feats is because each feat gives you points, and each point will eventually tally up to a skill point. Or a stat point, depending on how you how long you've been around and what you want to call it. But those are so important because they are actually going to give you survival ability later. They're also going to give you extra damage. There's all kinds of things that they do. And really, if you get enough, they'll change how you play the game and allow you to do so many things. Now, as you can see from this, uh, using that downdraft ability really does hit hard. So that's the reason that I have it in the loadout. Bear in mind, again, we are very power hungry right now because we haven't even been able to select super power focus or really round anything out. So right now we're just a sponge and our power is water and it's just leaking right out of it. So that will get better with time and skill points. All right, so we're taking care of the mob. All right, so we have our base that we can set up. We'll wait for just a second on that. I'm going to run and repair right quick. Hats off to Ukraine. All right, so we'll go ahead and finish up the Brainiac mission right quick. We do have to watch that water spout's power. It is a medium range power, so you will hit a point where it will not hit if you're trying to cast it when you're too far away from the target. So we kind of saw that just a second ago, so we really have to watch that. It's one of the reasons that I'm not a giant fan of it, is just simply that. But if you're up in the middle of the action like we are right now, it really is awesome.
All right, grabbing these citizens. Then we'll concentrate on getting rid of the accumulators. They're a little sparse over here. And one for extra measure. I do see that collection that I want to get, so we'll take care of these little fellers here. All right, we'll collect that in just a second. Three more of these guys, and this little leg is a wrap. Only downside is, is that they're not overly abundant here, so we really got to kind of track these guys down. Alright, let's grab this briefing that we found. Now this next part, the antennas that you see, the large ones that have the yellow sails, we are going to have to actually interact with those. So our goal here, even though it's going to take a little bit more time, is to kill all ads that are right directly around it. Because if you don't, What's going to end up happening is, is they'll interrupt you and you'll end up spending a lot of time right here and get overwhelmed with ads. Again, they won't kill you, but they will suck a lot of time. So we'll just kill them ahead of time. All right, that should be good for that one. No need to deal with him, so we'll just run on over and take care of the spark. That'll clear us up to grab this one. All right, we're going to need to dispose of all of these guys, which there's quite a few right around here. Yep, missed one. That was enough to throw the whole thing off. That's okay. So that was a great example, so you can kind of visualize the range that's on your water spouts. It hit the subjugator, but it missed the spark, which was a couple of steps back. All right, that should give us our last one here. Okay, mission completed. Let's see what's next. Nice aim. Those were the comma rays messing with my signal. All systems go, and Brainiac doesn't even know what hit him. Head back to the safe house for a hero's welcome. All right, so head on back, and we'll collect our mission, and that'll leave Booster Bundle, or excuse me, Booster Gold, for our next trip together. There we go, and we got a new neck piece. So let's go on ahead and equip these last little pieces. Now, some, as we see, some pieces, they may not actually do us any good as far as combat rating, but they will give us styles. So we want to make sure that we pay attention to that. So let's get this arranged. 
Other than that, awesome job, guys. That's going to be our first trip together. I really appreciate y'all joining and taking the trip with me. We'll be back with our next installment to go on ahead and tackle some more. We got to level 9, but we got all the way to 30 to go before the game really starts. So thanks again for joining. I appreciate it. And again, if you like what you see, click that like and subscribe button. Thanks so much.